Hey guys, today we have a Diaware Solo V2 and that's knives made by uh, Eric of uh, Diaware. You see here. And um, I've been waiting for this knife for about uh, 8 months. And if, if you guys like this knife, you better order now because um, then you'll have to wait for one year and then a year and a half and then two years and it probably he'll close his order books and you won't be able to get his knife. The knife is really tough, really big, and uh, I think this is the first one cliff uh, that Eric has done. <clears throat> I love his other designs, uh, but I think if uh, I want a tough and uh, user-friendly EDC knife, um, I'll, I'll go with the one cliff. Why? Because um, I think most EDC tasks are pull cut um, or a slice cut but uh, rarely uh, stab cut cuts um, so I asked him if he can do a uh, work clip style and uh, he said no problem and this is how it turned out uh, which turned out really really amazing uh, I love the, the thick the wide uh, tip uh, it provides you a, uh, a strong tip and at the same time you can use it uh, to do light prying uh, if it's necessary. The blade is a, a thick 5 millimeter uh, blade. I use a 35 vn and it rests on this uh, stop pin. Uh, every uses uh, some sort of uh, bearing system. I think he uses some sort of bearing system. Uh, it doesn't say but uh, it feels like a bearing system. Maybe it's uh, the one that um, <coughs> Gus at GTC knife uses. It's a caged stainless uh, caged bearing system because I don't see IKBS on, on top. So might be a caged um, ball bearing system. Uh, the knife is very very tough very very comfortable in the hand at least in my hand uh, it has a very very thick carbon fiber thick and strong carbon fiber a very thick titanium frame lock um, a big nice sculptured uh, TI clip and uh, you get a tip up or tip down uh, options which uh, very few custom knives uh, gives you the options big and thick stand of um, I don't think the this one is necessary but it's there actually actually the knife so strong you probably just need uh, two stand offs uh, you don't need five stand offs maybe six including this one um, <clears throat> it is just so strong because you can feel it in the hand uh, the weight, the size, uh, everything is just right. The thing is very sharp and uh, the log is very very early. Well, yeah, it's early but it, it's very secure. Uh, the knife has no no movement. Um, open or closed, you can see it's no movement. Um, and that's how solid and of in this the knife is okay the fit and finish is just perfect on this one uh, has a very nice jimping on top um, it's it's been grooved uh, a little bit uh, wide I like this type of jimping because it doesn't hurt the finger and it gives a, a very very good traction uh, what else oh the TI is bronze uh, colored and uh, blasted I like the finish very very much. I originally <clears throat> had a knife made in uh, micarta, but uh, Eric told me that uh, um, micarta wasn't uh, uh, stiff enough to keep the knife at uh, the blade center, very centered. And if he, he asked me if I wish to change to CF, and I said, of course, I wish my uh, blade center. So uh, thank you, Eric, for that. Um, with that, we know that uh, how uh, how good 
knife a knife maker is Eric because um, he goes for the perfection and that's really good of him um, flipping um, I wouldn't say it's the best flipper uh, in the world because the, the blade is uh, it's, it's, it's very heavy the blade stuck and I know for a fact that uh, the lighter the blade is uh, the easier uh, the flipping action is so uh, on this one uh, it has a very very good flipping action very good flipping action and uh, gives you a lot of uh, confidence okay the blade is center by the way and uh, I love these uh, clips very well carried out and uh, you can have it tip up or tip down uh, the, the carbon fiber is a uh, thick weaved carbon fiber and uh, this thing is just thick it's, it's thicker than the TI side so uh, you can have a buzz uh, running over and uh, the thing will not even move okay um, I believe that Eric makes almost, if not every part of this knife, um, <clears throat> the pivot. Uh, I have never seen a pivot like that, so I believe he made a pivot. Uh, he made the stop pin, of course, the blade, um, the TI, the clip. Um, maybe the only thing that it's not made by him are the screws here. Here, you see here. Otherwise, everything is made made by him, even the standoffs, uh, because you can you can um, you can see that it's uh, man-made instead of uh, instead of machine-made. He also made a, a very nice cutout in between, so you can dig your uh, thumb in and uh, oh, I love the knife. All right, guys, hope you like the knife and uh, place an order uh, with uh, Eric. From that word, um, his knife is not very expensive at all. Uh, it's very well priced, and I think every month he's gonna throw out some uh, special uh, version of the knife uh, with uh, more exotic steels, maybe Damascus. And that's it. Go grab one. Seriously. Um, the knife will go up in price, um, like uh, what 30 40 percent in the aftermarket, right after you get it. So, um, it's a good investment and it's a good functioning knife. So, don't wait, okay? See you guys later. Bye.